All right, so let's discuss my day count and my tier system, which helps keep me safe. And why not do it with Apple, which I trade all the time. And uh, it, you know, it trades well technically, you can use relative strength, there's liquidity. So I wasn't sure you know, how it would react you know, after the split. All I knew was if you look really close here, all right, you had um, a bull type flag develop where it didn't do much going into the split. Let's do like a little lesson here on day count and tier system. So um, I was actually long on Friday's close. So just say you weren't, you wanted to wait. This was the low that was put in um, on Monday morning. So right here, you just say your tier one is 500 shares. You're buying 500 shares in the morning because you see that it's not coming in. It's holding above the lower end of this flag. You're buying 500 shares of Apple. Then this is that all-time high right here, 128.79. 128.79 is the all-time high. So as it goes through the all-time high, the sky is always the limit. So just say you were in 500 shares. It goes through the all-time high. You love Apple and you've been waiting for it to break above this bull flag. Maybe you get to tier two. Tier two could be 1,000 shares, maybe it's 1,500 shares. Just say you went to tier two or tier three, you go from 500 to 1,500, and then it extends and went as high as what? 131 that day, so 131. So from 127 to 131, that's four points. So now just say you don't like taking stock home as much overnight, you wanna book some of your money, so now you go from 500 shares to 1,500. You sell 500 and it closes above 128.79, so now you're, just say, <clears throat> in a thousand then on this day it takes out 131 so in order to get to 137 it's got to take out 131 you go from a thousand shares to 1500 shares it pushes up and then all of a sudden you know you take some profits you're back to a thousand shares so now you've traded around you know uh, a trading tier besides you're still sitting in 500 shares from here so now you made two days worth of gains with trading around your tier and then all of a sudden it gaps up which it was on Tuesday, I actually tweeted that I sold mine because this was day one, day two, day three. I typically sell a lot of my longs on day three. Yeah, sometimes it's day four, sometimes they're day five, but day three, if you sell day three, 50% or 75% of your positions, you're never gonna get caught with your pants down. So I actually kind of got lucky because I sold it and yes, but went to 140, 142. I'm like, ah, I sold too early, but you know what? You don't, <laughs> you don't go poor booking gains. So anyway, onto that, I sold some. And even if you didn't anticipate on day three selling this like I did, I got kind of lucky, to be honest. Once it didn't hold this momentum level and didn't hold 134, that was your out. So on your last 500 shares, you got out of 134. You hold your first 500 shares, you were holding around 127, 128. So you went all the way to 134. So you made, just say, six bucks. And you also made money playing through the pivots using tears, and then you were done with it. And look how extended it was from the eight day. So anyway, some guys probably shorted this because it did an outside reversal and got very loose and wide. And then today, they probably added to their short when it broke 127, and now we're down to the 21 day. So by using you know a tier system and your day count rule and the it being so extended from the eight day, there was lots of ways to tactically make money there. Some guys were like, Red Dog, why don't you sell it and get shorted? I'm like, you know what? I have too many things to manage. I'm not going to short Apple right now. I'm just getting done with it. I'm done with the trade now. I'll revisit it. And the guys who love to be short, they finally got their short signal. And they finally actually, if they got short tier one at 134 versus the 137.98 high, you know what? They had defined risk. And then they could have came in a little short. And then today it opened above 127, showed relative weakness. I remember tweeting saying, hey, Apple still feels really healthy. Be careful. Um, and then it broke 127. And then you had another seven point short down to the lows of the day. That's how you could navigate tactically using a tier system, a day count rule, and then knowing when you know something's too extended and then it proves it's extended and then gets downside follow through. All wrapped up in Apple, one of the best names out there. And if you're an investor, you've been in for years, you stay the course. If you're a tactical trader like me for cash flow for a living, you gotta know how to navigate that kind of situation.